Let's talk about homeschooling when you don't feel your best. Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome to my channel. Today, I just wanna keep it real. I am gonna give you guys a day in the life video today, but I wanna focus on homeschooling when you just don't feel your best. Sometimes you just don't feel too good. You know, sometimes we have cramps or we feel moody or we might have a slight cold or maybe our allergies are like really bothering us. Sometimes we just don't feel like having a regular day of homeschool, but the kids still have to learn. Today's gonna be one of those days. I'm gonna just take a relaxed day. I'm gonna let you know what we have planned um, for the day and how we're going to approach this day with me not feeling that hot today. So one of the things I want to do today, um, right now I gave the kids 30, my, I gave the girls 30 minutes to play together. And then my son has 30 minutes to build a Lego set that he got for Easter. And so what I want to do after that when they come down, every day we have group subject and sometimes it's science, sometimes it's history. It was just our gather around Easter unit. We are going to do story time chess. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I, it came up on my Facebook as an ad and it just looks so adorable I had to get it so my son knows how to play chess we play together all the time and my five-year-old I really wanted to find a way to teach her how to play chess so we're gonna take a look at this later on today when I open it up I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it is but it's teaching the kids chess through a story and it has characters and everything so once I open it it starts a plastic on it and I and I really know what it is, then I can tell you guys about it better. So it's ages three and up. Another thing I'm gonna do today is, I just ordered these handwriting without tears books. And I just wanna chat briefly about handwriting. So I use the good and the beautiful, the handwriting, and they love it. They love the drawing, they love the art aspect, the coloring, and the good and the beautiful. The good and the beautiful is a beautiful handwriting program. However, um, I used, handwriting without tears for my oldest daughter and when I compare the handwriting of my other two children to my oldest daughter they do not compare my daughter's right handwriting using this is so much neater it teaches you your kids how to properly form the letters the right way and the last thing that I know that we're doing today is we're having a pizza party for lunch this mama does not feel like making lunches. This mama does not have prepared lunches. And I was offered to have pizza as a pizza party and I'm not turning that down today. It is perfect. So that is exactly the only plans I have for the day. We're gonna do other things, but we're kinda gonna just see how that goes. All right guys, so here it is. So this is a great game, a great thing to do over the summer guys, is to get some good games that are fun, but still educational and spend your summer playing games. King we... Chomper is the white king. We're gonna read both of your stories, okay? King Chomper's the white king. That's what I King Chomper was a silly king who lived in a silly castle in a land called Cheslandia. <coughs> God bless you. Thank you. Since he, you're welcome. Since he was a king, he always had lots of beautiful clothes. All... So how does King Chomper move? King Chomper moved. King Chopper moved one square at a time. One square at a time. Because he had such a big belly. Because he had such a big belly. Okay, so before we get into handwriting, we are going to address some behavior issues in a very gentle way. So I'm gonna read uh, The Magic of Choices to the girls. This is mostly for my five-year-old, both of them, and best behavior. But in order not to single anybody out, I'm just gonna read it to the both of them. And hopefully it will address some of the, it'll hit some of the topics that I want to address and um, and then we can move those into discussion. So the first one is The Magic of Me, Magical Choices. And it talks about all the different choices that you can make. And these are like, they have positive affirmations in them. I choose to be responsible. 
I choose to be helpful. I choose to be patient. I choose to be generous, etc. And then the next one is Best Behavior, which is an Usborne book. It has all different types of behaviors, and these can lead and will lead into different conversations. All right, so first we're gonna read The Magic of Me, My Magical Choices. The choices you make have superpowers. They bring sunshine or rainy showers. So here are some magical things to do that bring the sun to shine right through. Listen closely to the slice of life advice. Say, I choose, and then end with something nice. Jump right in. When helping others, we all win. So what are some ways you could help around the house? Um, clean your room. Clean your room. Let the dogs out. Let the dog out. And, and feed the dogs. Do the dogs. dishes. Feed the dogs. Say, I choose to I, be patient. I choose to be patient. Next. Herself or reading and handwriting. So now I want her to do this little red riding hood puzzle. This is awesome. I love this thing. It has a little story with pictures with no words. And then you have your trees, your wolf, and your red riding. You can take those out. Okay. And then you have, hold on, Alan, this little piece here. And then this little book here. And then the little. This is from house. Smart Games, the house. And I'm going to link this in the description below. So she starts with one. She places the pieces exactly as they are here. This tells her which one she's going to use. So she's going to use the, one, the blue flower road. And she has to put it on the board to get red to the house. And then it gets more and more challenging. And then in the back, if you flip it over this way, it's extra challenging because you have to get the... Red Riding Hood and the wolf over to the house. Okay, so you're gonna start with the first one and see how far you can make it, okay? And I'll come back to check on you, alright? Not yet. You start with red, okay? Look at these little water socks I got from Amazon. She likes to wear them around the house. They're for the beach. I'm a cat ninja. Oh, sorry, she's a cat ninja. <laughs> alright, so I was showing you my pink drink that I drink every day. I take um, these really powerful probiotics um, and it's from a little business that I'm in, it's called Plexus and it's really good for all kinds of health things. So this is the drink that I'm drinking right now. Um, I'll probably make a separate video on that stuff another day. If you want more information, um, I'll leave my link in the description below. But they're very good probiotics and everything, uh, supplements to help clear your gut, heal your gut, to heal yourself from autoimmune diseases help you if you have diabetes i'm dropping everything i'm trying to sit in my little hammock swing here just got this a little while ago but the pillows are all funky okay while the kids are inside i just wanted to chat for a second so we've been having some problems with good sportsmanship um uh cleaning up after themselves those different behaviors that those books touched on they were a good um, way to, without singling anybody out to discuss the different problems that we were having and find solutions to them. And then the chess is so cute guys, it's so awesome, it's working well. And the handwriting, forget it, I've never seen their handwriting as neat as it is with these books and I wish I started with them. So I'm going to go back inside now and um, we're just going to keep going. We're going to keep going through the day. At 12 I'm going to order pizza for lunch. We'll have our little pizza party and we'll take it from there. I'm feeling a lot better than I was this morning and um, I'm just we're enjoying the day with the kids. Alright so we have Beast Academy math going on over here. We have the Good and the Beautiful Math 1 going on here, and today we're moving into Math 2. What is a dime worth? 10 cents. These are nickels. These are five. Mm -hmm. How many nickels would equal 10 cents, girls? Right here, right here. Yep. Five plus five is 10. Five, 10. So put your coin on it. Just one. Good. We are playing Money Bingo from the Good and the Beautiful. 
math. I love it, this math, because there's so many fun games. Okay, flip a card, Ireland. Your turn to flip a card. All right, we're going to put this away, and Ireland, you're going to do math. And at the same time, we are waiting for our pizza to get here for our pizza lunch, thanks to your daddy. So we're going to continue with our one-on-one -on -one work, which I'm not going to show you because I've shown you in every other homeschool video. Um, but she's got math, got a little toy that came from Amazon, and we have, then I have to help Aaron with math, and then all of the kids have their language arts. So after we get done all of that, then we'll be done school. So the next that you'll see is us having our pizza party, and, um, and then wrapping up this video, and wrapping up the school day when I just wanted to talk about how to make things a little bit more fun for you when you're not feeling well and you have to still homeschool. about time for a coffee break. So I get a lot more fatigued during this time of the month. My kitchen's a mess, so please ignore it. So there's a couple things that I can use if I'm really tired, and number one is coffee, which is what I'm having right now. Uh, number two is this edge vitamin from plexus there it is sustained energy sharper thinking and improved mood enhanced concentration and focus and then the other option that i have is this active drink that i love from plexus and it says it also supports the body's natural nitric oxide production it's a peach mango flavor it's really good it boosts performance and mental alertness <clears throat> mental clarity and alertness and has a ton of vitamins vitamin a c e b6 b12 the green coffee bean extract green tea leaf extract it has turmeric it has cherry blueberry broccoli kale leaf beet root juice powder so this is really healthy i'm gonna leave a link to my um my personal website so there's lots more to do i still have to do math with um uh, my kindergartner's doing math on her own right now um she's measuring things with uh inches using little inchworms really cute and then my the girls both have to do their language arts my son needs help with his beast academy today and he needs um his iew and then my daughter my oldest daughter who's in eighth grade doing virtual school she needs help with her project so that's a lot to do. It's one o'clock. We took a slower morning. It's probably not gonna all get done, honestly. I'm probably just gonna, uh, the girls did read by themselves, so they're probably gonna skip language arts today. And my son will probably skip writing. I'm just gonna have him read and do math and then help my oldest with her project because I'm getting tired. i um, starting not to feel that great again. And I'm ready to wrap this day up pretty soon. So I just wanna thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys, enjoyed this video let me put you on here so i just wanted to share that if you're not having a good day or if you're not feeling well you can still do school just make it easy on yourself by making it fun for the kids um it's it's okay so if you're not feeling well or you're having a, a day just make a nice day of it do something fun today my girls are learning how to play chess we read some books on behavior type things learn how to regulate our emotions and do the right thing and make good choices um, we did math, they read by themselves, we had a pizza party, and that's good enough. That's good enough for a homeschool day. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. She's also practicing spelling because as she's measuring, measuring, she's writing down words. She's sounding them out and writing them out how she thinks that they're spelled. I'm not here to correct it, but that's great practice. And they also did their handwriting so i think enough got up accomplished today i'm gonna start to take it easy i'm gonna need a lot of energy for my oldest daughter's uh, project for her school look at that princess purse i have a stuffed animal named princess and i measured her purse yeah blind. Her purse. there it is see she measured that 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.